Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, as you can see, I got some stuff off Craigslist. Um, yeah, I went down there and checked out this uh, this guy's place today. Uh, actually, I didn't find him on Craigslist. The guy I bought my index mill here off of, right there, texted me the other day and was like, hey, you need to get down here and check out what this guy's got. Um, anyway, he'd been a machinist for 30 years and cut off actually the same finger that I smashed off the end of mine here. And um, yeah, anyway, just needed to, uh, I think, kind of pay some medical bills. And so I got a bunch of crap here. Let me go through this here. Yeah, I was uh, pretty excited about this because I needed a set of mics. Um, these are just, you know, Chinese ones. I don't know who actually makes them, but they were calibrated. And there's a calibration sticker on them. There's these uh, Starrett's, a couple of big ones here. I think these are 14 inch. I got some T gauges here, uh, an indicator. Uh, a Starrett uh, inch mic there, uh, a set of bits all the way from like half inch all the way up to inch and a half. I know these again look like they're Taiwanese, but I was pretty thrilled. Uh, a uh, indicator for my mill here. And then this guy here, uh, actually my uh, my buddy that's a machinist there told me I needed to buy this because I at first was like, what the hell is that thing? But uh, so basically, if you are cleaning up a part on the mill, and instead of taking and you know holding some sandpaper on it, uh, basically this thing mounts in the tool holder, and you crank this handle here, and this sandpaper moves along it, and it will cope to the part you're actually uh, you're trying to clean up there. And uh, he said basically just yeah buy this so you don't injure yourself. And I'm all about saving my digits, especially since learning that that guy uh, how he ended up having an end mill. Somehow or other he got his hand wrapped up in a milling machine and the end mill uh, ended up milling off of milling off this finger here. It sounded really horrible, looked nasty. Way worse than what I did. Uh, and then I ended up getting some of these carbide insert tooling here. These are all Kenna metal. Um, this one's a straight. Uh, I got a thread cutter here and a bunch of inserts. I got an internal threading bar, a bunch of inserts. And then uh, two boring bars here. I think this this one this one's inch and a half or no inch and a quarter. And then I don't remember what size this one was. And then a bunch of inserts for those. And then I got another block here and another carbide insert tool which I just played with. And it leaves a really nice surface finish that just happens to fit my Shars quick change tool post here. So yeah, all in told, this was 740 bucks. And uh, I was pretty pleased. He had a bunch more stuff I would have liked to have taken home, but that's all I had the cash for. So I'm uh, anxious to give this stuff a try here. This thread cutter deal, I'm interested to see how that does versus just a piece of high speed steel. And he did actually have some carbide cutoff tools here, which now that I think about it, I probably should have bought one. I mean, need to go back there with some more cash and uh, pick up some of the other stuff from him because it uh, he's selling the stuff pretty cheap. Anyway, yeah, so there's the uh, Monday morning, Sunday evening Craigslist haul. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Uh, I don't know if I'll have many videos up this week because I actually have some paying work I got to get done. But uh, yeah, I will leave you with my two mills here. Oh, actually, you know, real quick, what, if anybody out there actually has actually used one of these guys before, I made some bolts or attempted making some bolts. And I could not get the thread pitch right for some reason. I needed a bolt that was this size to replace one of the ones out of this three-jaw chuck. And uh, for whatever reason, I could not get this thing to thread at 14 threads per inch. I assume basically you came over here, you went 14 threads per inch, and so you put this knob here right there and then followed range C, which is right here, and then came over here and had this other lever pushed in, just kind of like following the chart there. But when I do that, it cuts 12 threads per inch. It seems like it's right if I set up at like 15 or 16 threads per inch. So if anybody has any input, I don't know if it could just be slack, you know, in old worn out gears causing this or what the deal is, but yeah, that was pretty annoying after I, I was all excited. I, you know, I made a bolt, I made a bolt. I cut the threads and cut the thing down and then it didn't end up fitting. So anyway, yeah, I'm Darlington Farm. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button and thank you for watching.